Today, Guy Martin starts building his replica World War I tank. This is a massive, massive undertaking. He's at the Norfolk Tank Museum just south of Norwich to meet Stephen McKay. Gear in here, isn't there? Steve? Yep, yeah, right over here. Ah, now, boss. All right. Nice to meet you, Steve. And I'm you. Guy. Steve's the man when it comes to restoring tanks. What's your trade? Self taught mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. Fair play. I started when I was 10 or 11 rebuilding vintage tractors. And then when I left school, I started rebuilding military vehicles. How many tanks you got all in all then? About 20 vehicles on site. 20. Are these all British? They are, yes. All of them? Yep. I just love British history. I can have a look up. Yeah, of course you can, yeah. Thank you very much. So this one still runs? Yes. Does everything yep. in here still run? Yep. All being restored back to running condition. What a place. Can we have a go on one? Yeah, absolutely. We can take the salad and that for a drive. <laughs> So I was in an armoured reconnaissance vehicle. That was great, that. Pre-select gearbox, getting me brain to deal with how to operate that. That was all right. I enjoyed it. <laughs> what a tool! Thank you very much. Having blown off the cobwebs, they get down to the business of building a tank. We've got the engine manual and we've got a couple of blueprints. Guy wants to build a replica of a Mark IV tank, the type which fought in the Battle of Cambrai a hundred years ago. Where do we start? We've got to make the hull first. The hull? Yep. Rhomboid shape. I don't understand rhomboids. Oh, right. An oblong on the slosh. The body shell alone will require over 10 tonnes of steel to be cut, shaped and riveted. Obviously, we've got to get tracks to go around the outside. We've got to have rollers. OK. I think the tracks are pretty keen because, you know, they're not like a modern track on a modern vehicle, so if they don't look right, people are going to say, oh, they've not done it right. Stephen's main role on the project will be making the tank move. Need to get an engine, gearbox and bag axle. Right. Driver sits at the front. That's it, I'll have a look at that. Yeah, that's almost like me. Are we putting any guns on it? Yeah. We've got guns on it, haven't we? We've got to have guns on it. Which guns a tank had determined whether it was male or female. Male tanks had two six-pounder cannons and three Lewis machine guns. Female tanks had five Lewis machine guns. While no decision's been made yet on what sex Guy's tank will be... Right, we're going to look at the engine, then. Stephen has already chosen its engine. Yeah. Six-cylinder. Yeah. Rolls-Royce petrol engine, B60, 130 brake horsepower. So I'm going to whip the head off and have a look inside. It's not what was originally used in a Mark IV, mm -hmm. but there are no working originals left on Earth, and they were unreliable engines anyway. This is one I bought 25 years ago. I paid £100 for it. It's been sitting in a crate. It's brand new, never ran. We're now going to bring it back to life. Very Rolls-Royce. What Stephen wants to do is use an engine that's similar to the original, but crucially will be much, much more dependable. Tidy, isn't it? It is. Yeah, brand new valves. Yep. The Rolls-Royce B60 was a type of engine designed for the military and used in a number of armoured vehicles in the 1950s. The weather's got to it a bit. There's a bit of damp's got to it. Yep. Looks like it's been to the moon and back, but it's not. It's a brand new engine. So what more's going to need doing to it before it can go in the tank, then? Stripped and cleaned. Obviously, everything's going to be thoroughly washed. We oh, like underneath there. Give it a lick of paint, do you think? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tall for the job. To get the power from the engine to the tracks, Stephen reckons they can find almost all they need at an agricultural salvage yard just down the road from his museum. That's the green one there, I think, is what we're looking at, Guy. Right. Steve found this digger that we can nick a proven back axle and differential and gearbox to that off. It looks a bit tired, doesn't it? It's done thousands of hours in that, so we're going to nick it out of that, bolt that to the Rolls-Royce engine with the clutch in between, get all that working, and then build around that, the tank like that. As simple as that. Should we say she'll set up? Yeah. Go I on. will use the magic spanner. Are you ready? Yeah, go on. <laughs> 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 
It's a cheap, but we're using exactly the same as what they used years ago. They, they selected a bag axle, a gearbox from a lorry, adopted it and put it into the tank, because they built these vehicles from nothing. That's all right, works a treat. Yeah. All the gears are there, high and low works, reverse works, jobs pitch.